everyone, I'm Sarah and this time I'm back on Cowshed TV with Dad and Davos to help you get your cattle walking on the halter. So, let's go! When you first start walking your animal it can be a good idea to use a relatively enclosed space so that if something spooks them and they get away that they can't go far. Here you'll see that dad's letting the bull go at his own pace with no pressure on his nose rope at all uh, but he's always ready to take hold of it if the bull were to start moving too fast or if he needed more control. Which he does do here where the bull starts jogging towards the gateway he just puts a small amount of pressure on the nose rope to let the bull know that he should slow down and then he sets him off again in the right direction and releases the pressure again on his nose. You should be walking just behind your animal's eye so that they're encouraged to see where they're going and move forward. Try to make sure your animal's walking with the head up slightly above the top line and if you can let them stride out at their own pace to show off their locomotion. When you feel that you're in control and ready to leave the pen, you can move on to a larger area for longer walks. Uh, we use this roadway for training cattle as it's generally quiet, but occasionally you get the odd vehicle or pedestrian, which as long as you're confident that you can hold on to the animal if they were to make a run for it, uh, it can be a useful training exercise. Alternatively, you could use a yard or a field for the same job. You just want to get them used to walking freely alongside you. Some things to expect when you begin this leading process are obviously lots of stopping and starting, short bursts, walking sideways as you can see here, and sometimes they'll just refuse to move at all. But after a few sessions like this they'll start to get the hang of it and should learn to walk alongside you, and most importantly to stop when you ask them to rather than when they want to stop. This lady and her very well behaved dog kindly stood at the side and let us walk past here uh, and it's things like this which can help prepare an animal for all the sights and sounds they'll experience at the show. Another couple of things you can do to prepare are perhaps to ask someone to stand in the middle of a pen and pretend to be the judge while you walk around them. Uh, you can then stand your animal and maybe ask your judge to approach and run a hand over them just to get them used to that process that will happen in the show ring. You could also practice loading and being tied whilst on the trailer, perhaps take a short trip up the road and back and then practice unloading so it's not so strange when it comes to show day. All in all, the more training you can do at home to get them walking in somewhat of a straight line and get them used to some unusual sights and sounds, the calmer and better behaved they'll be in the show ring which will then allow you to show them off to their best advantage. So that's it from us today. If you missed the first video in this series, you can find the link in the description box and stay tuned for next time when we take a look at how to wash and groom your animal ready for the show. I've been Sarah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.